Today, Kirby 64 releases on Nintendo Switch Online. To go along with that, I wanted to look into the list of spirits for the Kirby series to find something related to that game. But, there was absolutely nothing in there exclusive to Kirby 64. No Zero Two, no Ribbon, absolutely nothing. So I had to be a little bit more creative with my approach this time. And so, I decided to go with someone who was first given his time in the sun during that game. Even despite appearing since the very first title. Waddle Dee. Waddle Dees are King Diddy's most common minions, even to the point of clearly being named after him. Or vice versa, I'm not entirely sure. In almost all Kirby media, they make up the bulk of his army. A few notable ones have appeared over the years, with most heroic Diddy of the line first aiding Kirby during the events of Kirby 64. In their spirit battle, the Waddle Dees are represented by a set of four orange Kirbys. This is about as close as you can get to a physical representation of Waddle Dees in this game, as they don't really have much in the way of abilities. They're just small, cute, orange blobs. Yeah, that sounds like a recall of Kirby. They're fought on the Dreamland GB stage, with the Kirby Retro Medley playing in the background, reminding players that the Waddle Dees have been around since the first level of the very first Kirby game. Sometimes Waddle Dees can have power, but that's really only when they're carrying items like parasols or spears. Otherwise, they're not even very hostile, just kind of wandering around and damaging Kirby on contact. To represent this, the Waddle Dee spirit itself is of a neutral typing. It has no special abilities. However, the Waddle Dee spirit can be enhanced into Bandana Waddle Dee. Bandana is a very specific Waddle Dee who first appeared officially in the original Kirby Superstar as a foe in both the Megaton Punch sub-game, and retroactively as this random Waddle Dee in the arena. But apparently the design stuck with the folks at HAL, because when they remade the game into Kirby Superstar Ultra, they gave him an even more important role, this time as King Dedede's right-hand man. Bandana Dee became even more important come Return to Dreamland, when he became an actual playable character for the first time, wielding his iconic spear. Some have theorized that the Waddle Dee from Kirby 64 was retroactively intended to be Bandana Dee, but that's never been confirmed. While Bandana Waddle Dee has no spirit battle of his own, he does have an ability, unlike his unevolved form, which increases the damage dealt by battering items. This includes baseball bats, swords, hammers, and others, as a reference to Bandana Dee's famous spear. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more Kirby content, I did a load of it last month to celebrate his 30th anniversary. If you want more general Nintendo content, then subscribe to the channel, because I have more Smash Bros, Sonic, Mario, and other videos coming out every week, and I hope that you enjoy. Join the Discord if you want to be in on the conversation, and I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.